Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hope you're all feeling great and have had a great start to the week. So, your Matt Pilates class. We don't need any equipment for today, so don't worry, just yourself and your mat. Um, if you want to pop on some music, pop on a playlist, I'll give you a second to do that. Um, otherwise, we will get started on our hands and our knees. We'll get stuck into a little bit of a cat cow warm up, cat cow stretch, and then we'll get stuck into our class. So, when you're ready, Flipping over, hands down, knees down, four point kneel position. We're gonna start by taking a nice deep breath in through our nose, drop the belly towards the floor. And then as you exhale, pressing away from the mat, arching your back to the ceiling, look between your knees. Beautiful, inhale, drop the belly. Open that chest. Really arch the back and then exhale, arch your back in the opposite direction. Press away from the mat, look towards your knees. Beautiful, three more like this. Good, exhale. Take a breath in, exhale, roll, push away. One more time. And then exhale, arch all the way back. Perfect. All righty, we're gonna stay in this position with our left hand down. We're just gonna flip over onto our sides. So we're gonna bring our feet out nice and long. We're gonna come into our side plank position. Hands to the ceiling, hand down to the floor. We're gonna bend the knees, drop your hips down towards the floor, arm down by your side. Press away, reach up. Beautiful. Let's go down and then reach back up. Beautiful, I like to call this our side crouching tiger. Good. <laughs> down and up. Perfect, let's aim for six more of these. Five. Four. Three, two, perfect, last one, hold it. Flip over onto both of your hands, come into your full plank. Beautiful, we're gonna bring our knees in, hovering those knees off the floor, walk your feet forward, and then walk your feet back into your plank. Beautiful, walk it back forward, walk it back out. Perfect, in, in, out, out. Good job, guys. All right, six of these. Perfect. Hover those knees just off the floor. Keep your bottom down. Chest directly over those hands. Four. Perfect. Three. Beautiful. Two. Last one. Hold your plank. Hold it here, bum down, long bodies for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop those knees down. Beautiful, we're gonna flip back over and face me, we're coming onto our sides. Oh, just catch your breath if you need. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep the left knee down. The right leg is going to extend out to the side. Cool, all right, reposition myself. We're gonna reach the arms out nice and long out to the side. Once your body nice and long, nice and straight, we're gonna tilt down, tap our hand to the floor, lift back up. So we wanna feel the squeeze through the side of the body. Lean, lift up, perfect. Down and up, beautiful. You should feel the side of the body really working hard here. Perfect, up. Beautiful. Now if you're finding the long arms are feeling a little bit much, you can just cross your hands across your chest and just lean to the side. Perfect, lift, squeeze. Good work, guys. Whew. Hope you can start feeling this, because I sure am. <laughs> Good, down. And up. 
Amazing. Let's go six more of these. Perfect. Five. Really lengthen that other leg out. Four. We're going to hold it down in three. Perfect. Two. All right. Come down towards the floor. Hand just hovers off the floor. Reach the other arm up like a diagonal line with the arm. And now just little pulses up and down, up and down. So you're reaching to the ceiling and then you're tapping your hand to the floor. Nice work, guys. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, whew, five, four, three, two, and come all the way up. Perfect. Let's bring our hands behind our head now. We're going to do the same thing, but add a bit of a twist. So we'll just start by leaning down, coming straight back up. Just do a couple of these to feel the difference with this. Try to keep the elbows out, the shoulders down. Okay, next time we lean down, hold it. Twist to the floor, look down, twist back to me, and then come straight back up. Good, lower, twist, come back, stand back up. Perfect. Let's go down. Twist. Amazing. If you want a little bit more, when you twist, extend the arms. Bring the hands behind your head. Untwist. Come back up. Good. We go down. We twist. Arms go out. Hands come back. Untwist. Come back up. Amazing. Six more of these guys. Perfect. Keeping those hips forward, squeezing your bottom as you do this as well. Perfect. Now I've lost count, but I think we've got two more, hey? <laughs> cool. All right, let's go. Last one. Come down. Twist. Open out. Come back. Now we're just twisting. Twist, untwist, twist, untwist, Whew. four, three, beautiful, two, last one, untwist, come up, four, bring that knee down, good, just tap that side out, Whew. shake it out, all right, we are going to come onto our forearm now, still keeping that knee down, we're going to extend the arm, uh, sorry, the leg out nice and long. So if you feel more comfortable to come onto your hand, that's fine. But just giving that wrist a little bit of a rest, we're going to come a little closer towards the floor. So your body is in a long, straight line. Hand on the hip, but it's going to lift and lower that leg. So we worked into the oblique, so now we're going to get lower into that leg in this side position. Perfect. If you want to support yourself, you can pop the other hand down onto the floor. That's fine. Perfect. Up and down. Feel that squeeze in the under leg. So that glute on the under leg should start to feel this. Perfect. Good work, guys. Good. Imagine there was like a little bell hanging down next to your foot. You're trying to ring that bell every time. Fantastic. So either on that forearm or on your hand, lift and lower that leg. Perfect. All right, guys, we're going to layer onto this. We're going to add a bend with the leg. So lift that knee, lift that leg, bend your knee to your chest, extend, lower, lift, bend, extend, lower tap. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Whew. Oh my God, this is burning. <laughs> Good job, guys. Up, in, out, tap. Perfect. In, out, lower. Keep it up, guys. Can we go for another four more of these? Down, up, knee in. Press out. Good. Three. 
Fantastic. In, out, last one. After this, beautiful. Let's go up, in, out. Lift that leg and just little pulses out to the side. Ooh, out to the side, lift it up and up for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest that leg down. Woo! Nice work, guys. Maybe we'll come out and have a bit of a shake, hey? <laughs> All right, we're not done just yet. We have one more variation and then one more exercise to finish off this little sequence. So we'll come back down onto that hand, extend that leg nice and long. We're gonna lift the leg up. We're gonna tap the leg forward this time, reach out to the side. Come forward, tap, lift up, reach to the side. Beautiful, forward and out to the side. Ooh. Nice one. Good, forward, lift up, open out. Come forward, tap, lift up, open out. Good, we are so close. We'll give you a really nice stretch after this, I promise. Good. Forward, lift. Beautiful, forward and lift. All right, guys, six more of these. Then the foot comes down to the floor. Five. Four, lift up out of that supporting hand. Three, four, my leg is falling to the floor. Two, ah. Last one, extend it out, hold it. Place your foot down. Extend your other leg out. Side plank, lift your arm to the ceiling. Beautiful, we're gonna pike the hips up. Touch the floor. Come back down into your side plank. Pike it up, touch your hand to the floor, twist, and then come back. Beautiful, let's aim for five of these guys. And up, Ooh, four. Three, perfect scoop and reach. Two, last one guys, lift it up. Hold your side plank for five, three, two, and come on down. Woo. All right, let's have a little bit of a stretch, hey? <laughs> that leg that you just had extended to the right leg, bring it around your left. Just hug your knee into your chest, squeeze the knee, and then just twist and walk over your shoulder. Good, you should feel that nice stretch. Oh, it might hurt when you first get into it. Oh, and then just twist, look over the shoulder. Beautiful, just release that knee down, and then just walk your hands forward. Just bring your chin to your chest. Hang out here for a second. Awesome. Alrighty guys, we're gonna come onto our backs now. So knees to your chest. We're gonna do a little bit of a roll, the ball roll like a ball sequence. So your feet plant down onto the mat in front of you. Your hands just rest behind your thighs. So just like the start of our reverse burpees, but we're not gonna do those just yet. All right, last one guys, lift the hands to the ceiling. Keep your feet floating in that boat position. Hold it here for six, five, reach your hands a little higher, look up, four, three, two, and then roll all the way back, beautiful. All right, with this next one, we're gonna reach our arms down by our side, so same deal, we're rolling like a ball. Just give you a bit of a demo. But the arms are gonna stay down and we're gonna lift the hips and the legs to the ceiling. So place your hands down like a candlestick, then we come back up. So hands down, kick those legs up, sit back up into your boat. So it's kind of like a little reverse crunch and then we come up into that boat. Beautiful. Now press your hands down into the floor to give you that height. Then you come back. Perfect. Roll back. Lift up. Kick up. Sit up. Perfect. You've got this, guys. Woo. Isn't this a bit of fun, eh? Rolling around the floor. <laughs> Good. All right. Four more. Three. 
Beautiful, two. Last one here, guys. Lift up, come back into your boat, hands up forward, legs are floating. Hold it here, lift the hands up. Beautiful, bring the hands back down. Amazing, keep those feet in that nice tabletop position. Maybe you extend your legs for more of a challenge, guys. Up and down with those arms for four, Woo. three. I'm gonna keep the legs up, but the hands come down in two. Last one, bring the forearms behind you. Come back like you're laying on the beach. Keep those legs up, perfect. Tuck that tailbone, back is pressing into the floor. Extend your left leg. Bring it back to tabletop. Extend your right. Beautiful, lift up out of the forearms, out of the chest. Good, just nice, slow, steady. Bicycles, extend. Bend, Whew. fantastic guys, out, and in, out, in, amazing, let's go four more, three, two, last one, now both legs together, out, Whew. and in, out, and in, the lower you lower the legs, the more challenging this will be. When you extend those legs, try not to sink into your shoulders. Lift that chest up nice and high. Amazing work, guys. We've got six of these. Then we're gonna hold the legs out in five, Woo. four, three, two. Last one, guys. Extend those legs out. Hold it, little flutter kicks. Woo. Flutter kicks for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then bring your knees to your chest. Have a rest. Woo. Good job, guys. Just rock your knees side to side. Oh, how are we feeling? Can I get a thumbs up if we're feeling good? Yes, good. All right, just a couple of rolls with those knees. All right, we worked our abs. Now we're going to work our back abs or our backs. <laughs> All right, so plant your feet down onto the floor. Roll up, we're just gonna sit on our bottoms. We are going to do some reverse planks. So your hands are going to position just behind you. Now you play around with the direction of your fingers. Everyone's hands and arms are different. So people are gonna find, everyone's gonna find the positioning of their fingertips very different um, and comfortable in certain ways. So you can either have your fingertips pointing towards your body, your fingertips pointing away from your body out to the side, or your fingertips facing behind you. So for me, I personally find it more comfortable for my hands when my fingers are pointing out, poking out to the side. All right, so we just want to make sure that we've got enough um, distance away from our bottom to our hands. Planting your feet down into the floor, we're going to lift the hips up, squeeze the bottom. Perfect, then we lower back down, hit the butt to the uh, floor, lift up, scoop and squeeze. Drop the bum down, beautiful. Lift up, scoop, squeeze. Lower back down. Perfect. Up. And down, amazing. We've got six of these guys and we're gonna hold it. Five, four, three, good, two. Last one, lift it up and hold. Beautiful, squeeze your bottom, press away with your hands, push your feet into the floor. We'll lift up a little high, guys. Necks are long. Spines are straight. Squeeze your bottom for another six, five, four, three, two. Slowly lower back down to the floor. We're going to lift one leg off next time we come up. So we're going to lift up, lift your left leg up. We come back down, scoop to the floor. Swap it over, right leg. Come back down, scoop to the floor. 
kind of like you're marching. All right, guys, we have six of these, three on each side, lift, lower, five, four, perfect, three, two, last one, both feet down, lift up, last time, hold it here, perfect, now extend your legs if you want a challenge, legs along, so it's like a reverse plank, legs along, hips are lifted, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, lift high guys, three, two, and slowly lower to the floor. Whew. Just curling forward, keep the knees bent and just give your back a little stretch here. Good job, guys. All right. Now we did our preparation for our reverse burpee, so we are going to do a couple of these. We're gonna to aim to do eight of them, eight reverse burpees and then we'll make our way up for our standing part of class. So, just bring your knees to your chest, lay back down onto your back, just start to roll like a ball. Let's just do three rock backs. Perfect, two. All right, next one, come up guys. Stand up, reach up, look up, sit back down, roll back. All right, one. Woo. We just have eight of these. Now your modified version is just your rollbacks, back and forward. Good. Nice work, guys. I think we're halfway now. Perfect. Three. Perfect. Two. Last one, guys. Woo. We stand up and we come on up. Woo. Good work. Take it all out, grab a drink if you need. We are going to come into a little standing lunge sequence. And then don't worry, I haven't forgot about <laughs> the other side for our oblique stuff. Cool, all right, so we're gonna stand um, on our mats. So in the, line, um, the length of our mats, we'll start with our left foot forward, right foot back. So we're gonna lunge really deep to the floor and then we're gonna stand up really tall. So we wanna use our hands with this one. We're gonna step back, lunge, tap to the floor, come back up, stand up. Come back down to the floor, tap the fingertips, come back up. Beautiful, now if you're finding it, it's a little bit uncomfortable for you to reach all the way to the floor, that's totally fine. Just bring your hips, uh, sorry, your hands to your hips. We step back. We step forward, good. Back and forward. Now take it nice and easy, down and up. So it's not meant to be a really fast movement. You're working that supporting leg. Perfect, up, down. Pressing into the heel when you stand up. Whew. Now getting it a little bit more challenging, sorry, making it a little bit more challenging, when you stand, you bring your knee to the chest. Then you come back down to the floor. Stand, Woo, knee to chest, come back down. Working on that balance. Down and up. Good work, guys. Yes, try and get those hips really low to the floor as well. Amazing, lift up. Woo. So good, let's go five more like this. Good, four, three, two, last one, come down to the floor. Fingertips down, right, uh, sorry, left knee is bent. That right leg is extending. Now just lift and lower that right leg. Little kicks up and down, perfect. Now if the floor feels a little bit low and you've got like a bench or a couch in front of you, you can hold on to that. I've got the wall here so I can hold on to that. Good, so we're gonna lift and lower, perfect. All right, just a couple more taps here with your leg guys. We've got eight, seven, that left 
glutes should be screaming at you. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, lower it to the floor. Now bring your foot to meet your right left foot. Extend it back out. So it's like a scooter position. In and out. Toes come in, leg goes out. Good. In and out. Oh, feel that burn. Good job, guys. In, out. Good. In and out. We have eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four. Three, two, extend that leg out, hold it. Plant your hands down onto the floor. Step your left foot back as well. So now you're in a high plank. Perfect. We're going into some slow mountain climbers, guys. Knee in, leg out. Woo. In, out. In, out. We are going to speed it up, guys, in 10. Nine, nice and slow. Six, five, go, four, three, two, now faster, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Whew. come onto your knees, good job, come up, just shake it out, give your body a bit of a wiggle, awesome. Oh, okay, guess what? Other side for the leg and then other side for the obliques. So let's make our way back up. You guys are nailing this today. Hope you're enjoying this. Experimented with a few things yesterday. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go right foot forward, left foot back. We come down, tap the hands to the floor, stand up, lift up. Good, come back down, tap to the floor with the fingertips, lunge, stand up. Beautiful, down and up. So I really want you to bend in that supporting leg. If you're a little bit wobbly coming up, that's fine. That's great, work in progress. You'll get a lot more stable as you practice this more. Good, up, perfect, down and up, good. Coming deep into that lunge, come back up, lift up. Fantastic, guys. Good, you should feel that glute starting to really warm. And if you haven't already, we lift the knee to the chest. Come back down, tap, lift that knee as you stand. Come back down, tap, lift the knee as you stand. Woo. Nice work, guys. Down and up. Fantastic. Let's aim for six more of these. Good. Five. Perfect. Four. Three. We're going to calm down for those little toe taps. Two. Perfect. Last one. Now come down or hold on to the couch the thing in front of you and a little tap up and down up and down good keep a bend in that supporting leg guys up down up down so nice eight good seven six five four three two Last one, place the foot back down. We step it in and out. Last little bit here, guys. Just that scooter position in, out. Good, in and out. It's like we're about to sprint off to a 100 meter sprint race. That's how low you are. Low to the floor, in and out with that leg. Good, eight, perfect, seven, six, five. Good job, guys, four. Three, two, last one. Step that foot out, plant your hands down. Step your right foot back as well. Hold your high plank. Whew. Just hold it. Belly in, squeeze the ribs, press away from the mat. Good job, guys. Holding it for another six, five. We've got mountain climbers in four, 
Nice speed, mountain climbers. Three, two, let's go, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come onto the floor. Woo, shake it out. Alrighty, guys. We've got to even out those obliques now. Wasn't that your favorite part of the class today, hey? <laughs> I heard you all. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're gonna come into that side plank first for our, that side crouching tiger. And then we come into that side um, reach stuff. So let's come into that side plank first. So plant your hand down. You can plant both hands down if you need. Press out into your side plank arm um, to the ceiling. Modification version is both hands down. Let's go bend. Those legs press away. Perfect, we come down, we reach up. Beautiful, down and up. Oh, my feet are sliding in my socks. Keep going guys. Perfect, we come down, we reach it back up. Let's go four more of these. Three, perfect, down and up, two, down and up, last one, and then bring that knee down. Woo. All right, let's come onto those knees. Let's take my socks off. I said, say my feet. My feet aren't going anywhere, my socks are though. <laughs> All right, so we come into that kneel position. So that right knee is bent. <coughs> Excuse me, and your left leg is extended. All right. Bring those hips forward. Let's extend those arms out nice and long. We're gonna lean to the floor and then lift up, squeeze. Beautiful, lean down, tap, lift up, squeeze. Fantastic guys, down and up. Beautiful, down and up. Nice work guys, perfect. So good, really reach like someone is pulling your body, both arms away from each other. Perfect, now you might find that this side, you might feel it a lot quicker than the other side, or it might take you a little longer. Every side's different, every exercise is different. You learn lots of stuff about your body on the mat. All right guys, let's do four more of these. And then we do those little reaches, those pulses. Three. Perfect. Two. Last one. Come down to the floor, reach to the ceiling, and those little pulses up and up. Whew. I don't know about you, but my bottom leg is shaking. <laughs> Good. Up and down for six, five. Good. Four. Three two, one, and come on up. Perfect, let's bring our hands behind our head now. So lifting our seat, standing up really tall, let's lean, and we come back up. Perfect, lean, and up. Nice work, guys. Ooh, down, and up. Squeezing the side of the body, pulling those ribs in. Perfect, down, and up. So imagine there is a wall in front of you and you're sliding your body down that wall and then you're sliding it back up. Let's add that rotation. So next time you come down, hold it, twist, untwist, come back up. Beautiful, come down, twist, untwist, come back up. One thing I learned about my body with this is I'm very stiff on this side. <laughs> Good, all right, if you wanna extend those arms, extend those arms, bring them back, untwist, come back up. Good, tilt, twist, arms open, hands come back, untwist, come back up. Good job, guys. Whew. Amazing. Whew. Keep going, reach, return. And up. Perfect, guys. So close. Let's aim for four more of these. Down. 
twist. Four, three. Amazing. Let's go two more. Whew. All right, guys. Last one. Reach it out. Good. Just those arms. Let's go out. And in. Whew. Out. And two more. Twist out. And in. And twist. Go all the way up. Whew. And then just bring that knee down and just give yourself a little bit of a wiggle. All right, we're gonna place that hand or that forearm down, that side leg, lower lip tap bent option, and then we're almost done. Okay, so hand down or forearm down, up to you, coming onto our sides, hand on your hip or hand supporting you in front. We're just gonna lift and lower that leg to start off with, down and up. Now, when you're lifting and lowering, Making sure you're doing it with control. Lift, squeeze, and then lower. Up and down. You just don't want those legs flying around everywhere. Once you really lift up out of that bottom leg, that supporting leg is really important. Perfect. Up and down. Oh, my bottom leg is shaking. <laughs> Good. Up and down. All right, guys, we're gonna add that bent option. Good, let's go four more up and down. Three, two, last one, lift the leg, bring the knee to the chest. Extend, lower tap, lift, bend, extend, lower tap. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my booty is screaming at me today. <gasps> Ow! Maybe that's because I did this yesterday <laughs> when I was planning it. Good job, guys. You've got it. We'll have a really nice stretch at the end, I promise. All right, up, in, out, down, lift, in. Okay, let's aim for four more, guys. Let's go in, out, down, and up. Woo, three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, two. Last one, and then just come out of it. Oh my gosh, is it just me or are you guys feeling this too? <laughs> yes, I hope so. Oh, okay, the last one, we're just gonna tap the foot forward and back, and then we have that, um, the twisted pike, and then we're done. Okay, just two more exercises, that's it. Let's knock it out, guys. All right, last one, those toe taps forwards and to the side. Setting it up, arm is long down to the floor, leg is long out to the side, hand on the hip or hand supporting in front. Let's go, let's go forward tap, lift it back up. Forward tap, lift out to the side. Good, tap, side, good, tap, side. Whew. All right guys, let's aim for six more of these. Try and lift the leg a little higher to the side. Good, five, four, you've got it guys, hang in there, three, amazing, two, last one, leg out, hold it, hand down, arm up, other leg out into your side plank, all right, we pike, we twist, we tap to the floor, come back down, side plank, lift and pike, come back down to your side plank, all right, guys, five of these, and then that's it. We're done for today. Woo! Four. Three. Amazing. Let's go two. Last one. Hold your side plank, guys. Five. Four. Three. Two. And come on down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, guys, just bring that left leg over your right into that figure four stretch. Bring the knee right up into the chest. Hug your knee with your elbow and then just twist and look over your shoulder. Awesome. Oh, pull that knee in, twist a little bit tighter. Make sure you're breathing. 
As you exhale, it's almost like you pull tighter and twist better. Beautiful. All right, just release that knee. Keep the leg bent though and keep that cross-legged position. And then just reach your arms forward, bring your chin to your chest and just hang out here for a second. Let's take a couple of breaths. Beautiful. Alrighty, just come up out of that. Let's bring your feet out in front of you. Hands down by your side. We're just going to rock our knees from side to side. Just a little bit of a windscreen wipe side to side. Beautiful. Alrighty, and then just crossing your legs. Bring your right arm forward, your left arm back, and we're just gonna twist the upper body and even pop your hand on your knee and just twist a little further for a deeper stretch. Beautiful, untwist from that, and then just twisting in the opposite direction. Make sure your hand is nice and long behind you and then you're pressing into that knee or pushing into the floor in front of you. Beautiful, and then untwisting, just a couple of rolls backwards and then forwards. Just resting your hands down on your knees you and close down your eyes if you like. And just two nice big deep breaths for me. A nice big deep breath in through your nose. Hold the breath and then exhale, just sigh it out. On the next breath in, I want you to think of an intention or even a word for your day. Something positive, something happy. Hold it. And then exhale that word, that thought out into your day to set your intention for the rest of your day. Give yourself a round of applause, guys. You did such a good job. Thank you so much for joining me.